Hi everyone and welcome to the Unity 3D Scripting API series and we're going to talk about the on application pause event method which as we've discussed before is part of the mono behavior class. Now the on application pause event method is sent to all game objects when an application pauses. So it's called after awake if the script component is disabled and it's called after on enable if the script component is enabled. Now the on application pause event method takes a boolean which is a true or false value as an argument and when an application goes to the background which means when you minimize the unity editor then the then the value of the on application pause uh, event method is going to be true so the boolean value will be true and when an application comes to the front that means when you maximize the unity 3d editor it's the value of the boolean which is passed to the on application pause event method will be false so let's have a look at this code here now in my editor i already have a game object and my cube controller script is attached to my game object and then this is my cube controller script so i have all my namespaces here i have the void awake i have the awake event method and i'm going to de uh, use debug.log to log this string when the awake event method is called i also have the on enable event method and then once again inside this method i'm going to use debug.log to log something to the console and this is the same for the start method. So let's have a look at the on application pause event method. And as you can see, it takes a Boolean, which I've called pause state as an argument. And I'm going to uh, use debug.log to, lo uh, to log this string to the console. So the application is paused plus the value of the Boolean, which is passed here. So when on application pause event method runs, if the Boolean value is true, true will be logged. And if it's false, false will be logged. So let's have a look at this. So I'm already, I've already like uh, clicked on the tab for the console, let's play. So I'm going to click on play. And here you can see, okay, the awake event method is called first then we have the on enable event method okay now after the on enable event method if the script component is enabled which you can see here in the inspector window it is the on application pause event method is called and the boolean value is false so it's letting us know that the application is not paused which we know it's not because we haven't like done anything. And then we have the start event method, which is called on the first frame of the game. So awake on enable and start are called in that order. And this was covered in a previous tutorial. So I'll leave a link to that down below. Okay, now let me um, stop. Let me clear this. Now I'm going to disable the cube controller script here by unchecking this. Okay, so the cube controller script component is disabled and let's play. Now you can see that the awake event method is called first and then the application is paused event method is called and it's going to um, give display the value of the boolean false because the application is not paused. And this goes back to what we said out here that the on application pause event method is called after awake. Okay, so it's called after awake if the script component is disabled. Okay, and if the script component is enabled, then it's called after on enable. Okay, so back in my editor, let me stop. Let me enable the script component again. And let me clear this. Okay. And clicking on play again 
so we see we've seen this before right this order and the on application event method is called and boolean is uh, displayed because the application is not paused now let's send this application to the background by minimizing it okay so we've minimized it and now when the on application pause event method is called then the value of the boolean which is passed to the on application pause event method should be true okay and then when we maximize the window as we will right now the boolean value that is passed to the on application pause event method should be false so it, the order we should get now is true and false because first we minimized it so we sent it to the background and then we maximized it so the applications coming to the front and let's have a look at this okay so you can see that we see uh, that the application is paused the boolean value is true when the application is sent to the background it was minimized and then when we maximized the unity editor window the boolean value is false and that's pretty much for this tutorial go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you think this was useful